I have my own things that I like to do. I come to LA all the time. Everybody out there knows me. Nobody's ever met my husband. Like no, there are people who think I'm not even married. Why do they it's think so that? Weird. Uh, let me tell you something. Because they never tranny. see him. <laughs> let me tell you something from a tranny's perspective, from a woman's perspective, and from a man's perspective. Very good. Your girlfriends don't need to know your husband. They don't need to know your damn. Let oh. me tell you something. Okay. Oh. They don't need to know your husband. Very good. Very good. Millie Jackson Here. wrote a song years ago called Lovers and Girlfriends. <laughs> and she said, never <laughs> let your girlfriend hang out with you and your man too often. If oh, that B no. ain't got nobody, screw her. Mm -mm. Because no. she gonna take your man. Now see, see me Mickey feels something. different. Well, I did have a friend who I had known a very long time. And I actually stopped fooling with her because it was like the third time that she told me that she was dating a married guy. And I was like, Ooh. hmm. And so when she came to, she, I, she didn't come to visit me very often. We always lived somewhere. I'm from Louisiana, but we always lived somewhere else. So when she would, she came to visit me one time and this was when she was on married guy number three. And I gotta tell you, like, like literally that next morning, you know, we hung out all night long. We, we went out, we drank, we came back, all of that. Got up the next morning and I was just like, hmm. yeah, I don't know about that. So you better than me. She didn't me. do anything. She didn't, she no, didn't do anything. It, she didn't make she a did, gesture. She, I just was she, like, I know your mentality. To me, she did do something. She has a track. She had a track record of messing around with married yeah. men. Yeah. That's just something I would have kept from you because you're married, because you're always wondering. And, and I would have never let her in my house. She would have never, because I'm going, if I can't, if you can't be trusted around other people who are probably your friends or coworkers or whatever, I'm not yeah. going to trust you around my, my husband. But so you didn't, but, was... but she, maybe that was a boundary with you and she never, well, well, no, let me tell you something. I don't believe that there's a boundary. I don't believe that people have boundaries when they are doing that. Like if you're already in that space, you don't have a boundary. My husband is not off limits any more than anybody else's husband. And this was a childhood friend, hadn't seen her in a long time. Normally when I saw her, it was, you know, me going over there. It was the one time she came to into, into my space and I was like, Ooh, wait. I don't actually think I like like who you really are. So I um I just ended it. Like I blocked me, her number and cut everything off. Oh. Um, wow. I didn't even but tell no, her. I think that that's a when you when you are like if you have one relationship and you're like oh he was married, I've grown, I know my worth. That's one thing. But when you sure. have three merit uh, uh, relationships Mm -hmm. uh, with someone else's partner, yeah. that's a character flaw yeah. to me. That's an integrity yeah. issue. Mm -hmm. That's a hoe. Knock it off. That's <laughs> a hoe. <laughs> and <laughs> good for you, C. Mickey, for getting rid of her. She should have been in the hotel the entire time because hear me when I tell you. Let me tell you something. She She's the prime example of what Maya Angelou said. When someone shows you who they are, believe them. Believe she them. You. She warned you oh, three she, times. She, I'm glad on the yeah. third strike you 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 answered that call. Two funny mamas.